It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back. This is your feel good <laughs> breakfast show on a Tuesday. We're hanging out once again with Dr. Darren Green and our focus of our medical chat this morning is all about nutrition. Some very interesting things that uh, the doctor and I have been discussing during the ad break. And we also encourage you to please give us a call. Our number and our lines are open. 083-913-3728. Let's first tackle calories, Dr. Green. Um, yeah. So we, we've heard this word calories being thrown around uh, quite a lot that you need to burn so many calories for your body to be able to function but what exactly is a calorie what does it mm. look like can you draw it can you on eat a it? picture can you eat it <laughs> so a calorie uh, is not actually something you consume it's not something you can put in your mouth yeah a calorie is just like a stand, you know, like if you weigh something in kilograms or grams, it's yes. the unit that something is measured okay. in. Okay. So a calorie is a, is a unit that's calculated through clever guys in science labs to raise the temperature of one gram of water by one degree Celsius. So it's the amount of work required, the amount of energy required. So, for example, uh, if you say uh, you, you, you eat a, a little a chocolate, for example, mm -hmm. and, and, it, and it says that... On the, on the calorie information on the, on the packet, it says, it says 300 calories. That means that you need to burn 300 calories to equate to the energy required, obviously, that's uh, been, been, been consumed by the chocolate bar. Yeah. So you, the other unit that we use is joules and kilojoules. So everyone okay. speaks about kilojoules, for example. So what the labels do, and this came out, I think, in the 90s already, uh, and was forced to be implemented later on for people to be able to count calories and kilojoules on their, on their, on their foods. It tells you basically how much energy is going to be required to digest what you've just eaten. Okay. And how the whole uh, parameter works in life is energy in equals energy out. If the amount of, of, of kilojoules that you are burning per day is less than the amount of, of, of energy that you are taking in, you will gain weight. Yes. If the amount of kilojoules that you are that you are burning or calories that you're burning every day is more than the amount of energy you're consuming, you will lose weight. Yeah. And that's not even getting into the, the finer groups of foods and, you know, the macro, micronutrients and so forth. So energy in equals energy. That equation is based just on packets of energy. Yeah, so yeah, food yeah. is broken down into energy to be used by the muscles, by the brain and the organs. Uh, uh, but also the, the, the unit measurement in science terms is, all... is the amount of energy required to burn that food. Yeah, and so, that's so what it's, I think it's important, you know, when you kind of visualize yes. your food, there are no calories in the food. There you go. It's the wrong word to use. Yes. For, uh, no, no, no. The food is full of energy. Yes. What you need, basically, is, uh, are the calories to burn that food. Absolutely. Correct. Okay, so, so then it, in, in that way, it's true then that 500 calories of broccoli yes, and 500 yes. calories of, let's say, mayonnaise yes. would have the exact same effect on your body. Not the same effect, but the same amount of energy. So when you're speaking about weight ah, control, we yes, yes. sure, and energy, yes. The nutritional value of broccoli is not only, because, because of what broccoli consists of, yes. it comprises trace elements, macronutrients, micronutrients, vitamins and ions and all that kind of thing. Whereas mayonnaise won't contain those things. So there's nutritional value to food. So even although the calories required to burn a gram of fat and a gram of carbs might be the same, they have different uh, effects in terms of how long they last in the body yeah. and where they utilize the most in the body. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, you know, obviously combined with other foods, which essential metabolic processes they aid in the cells of the human body. And that's what wow. people need to know. That's some fascinating stuff. I want to ask the question whether calories are indeed the best measurement or unit measurement we can use to talk about food. But we'll do that in a second. Sure. Uh, we'll keep our, our lines open on 083 We'll talk to Dar Dr. Darren Green shortly again. But right now, over to the kitchen with Leanne.